What would we give to be able to peer at the sparkling shapes in the firmament up close? What remained an unfulfilled dream for our ancestors in past centuries has become reality for us today. Thanks to modern space probes and highly complex space telescopes, we citizens of Earth can now take a vivid look at the incomparable beauty of the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope has been providing us with spectacular images from space since the early 1990s, and we still regularly receive new photos from the impressive realm of the stars. Today we would like to take a closer look at some of these fascinating images of our galactic neighborhood. We hope you enjoy the breathtaking photos from the Hubble Space Telescope. Are you in the mood for more fascinating stories from space? Then subscribe to Simply Space and never miss one of our videos again. If you like the content of our posts, show us with a thumbs up. And finally, feel free to take a look at the videos we link to at the end of our galactic travel today. Let's get started. The Hubble Space Telescope, an astronomical milestone. The world-famous Space Telescope, which was developed as part of a cooperation between NASA and ESA, owes its name to the renowned scientist Edwin Hubble. Equipped with the most modern technical equipment, Hubble has been literally diving into unknown worlds for many years. Not only can it examine objects in visible light, but also work in the infrared and even in the ultraviolet range. On April 24, 1990, time for launch had finally come. The launch had been subject to a number of difficulties in previous years, but ultimately, the Hubble Space Telescope began its journey into the infinite reaches of space on that spring day. The Space Shuttle Discovery brought the complex equipment to its scheduled launch position. However, the scientists on Earth quickly realized that they had made a serious mistake in the construction of the space telescope. Because of a faulty primary mirror, the first Hubble images sent to Earth were virtually unusable. It was to take three years before the problem could be resolved over the course of a large-scale repair mission. After that, Hubble was finally able to devote itself to its original mission objectives. This includes an extremely broad spectrum of objectives. With the help of the new high-resolution images, scientists hope to gain new insights into the other planets in our solar system. Stars, galactic nebulae, and the alleged black holes were also to be examined in detail with the images from the Space Telescope. The photos taken during the mission leave both experts and interested laymen speechless with amazement. The telescope has now been in operation for more than 20 years. However, the Hubble era is slowly but surely approaching its finale. NASA plans to direct the new James Webb Space Telescope into the almost infinite expanse of the universe this year. Since the James Webb Space Telescope is technically superior to the Hubble Space Telescope, it's expected to replace it completely within the next few years. Before that happens, however, we'll take a moment to enjoy together with you the spectacular pictures of the time-honored Hubble Space Telescope. I see 1613. That which is often denied to many terrestrial stargazers, namely a close-up view of the most distant phenomenon, the Hubble Space Telescope mastered with flying colors. It discovered the irregular dwarf galaxy I see 1613, for instance. In contrast to comparable formations, objects of this kind are extremely difficult to find. Galaxies that are called irregular do not have a visible galaxy core. Also, they don't have the characteristic spiral arms or elliptical structure. Even if IC 1613 is not immediately recognizable in this photo, the galactic richness presented here is simply overwhelming. NGC 147 We admit the idea that billions of celestial bodies exist in the universe sounds a bit abstract at first. However, 
A look at the photo of the dwarf galaxy NGC 147 gives us an idea of what is really meant by this order of magnitude. NGC 147 is located in the constellation Cassiopeia and extends over an area of more than 300,000 light years. The detailed images of the galaxy, discovered in 1829, leave us in pure awe. What thoughts go through your mind seeing this sparkling sea of colors? Write them down in the comments. NGC 185 NGC 185 also amazes us with its exuberant radiance. Just like NGC 147, this is an elliptical dwarf galaxy. In the center of this impressive structure, there is an active galactic nucleus. This means the central area of a galaxy in which unusually high radiation values are present that are not due to the influence of stars. NGC 147 and NGC 185 are closely related. The objects are galactic companions of the Andromeda galaxy, so they influence each other gravitationally. The incomparably beautiful NGC 185 was discovered by Friedrich Wilhelm Herschel in 1787. The dwarf galaxy is about 2.3 million light years away from our Earth. NGC 40 What we see in this impressive image is the planetary nebula NGC 40. In the world of astronomy, a planetary nebula is a certain structure composed of the remnants of stellar evolution. Planetary nebulae consist mainly of plasma and gas. These substances are ejected by stars at a certain stage of their evolution so that they remain as billowing, nebulous masses in space. However, the name planetary is misleading. After all, the objects are not planet-like celestial bodies. The name rather comes from the fact that the nebulae often appear spherical, in other words, planet-like, when viewed from terrestrial telescopes. With a lifespan of only some 10,000 years, planetary nebulae are some of the most short-lived phenomena in the universe. For comparison, most stars live for many billions of years. The fascinating structure in the photo is located in the constellation Cepheus. Temperatures in this region range from 18,000 to 90,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It is assumed that NGC 40 is about the size of our blue home planet and was formed 4,500 years ago. Caldwell 14 Caldwell 14 is actually a double cluster. It's composed of the clusters NGC 884 and NGC 869. These are gigantic star clusters in the constellation Perseus, each containing thousands of sparkling objects. Caldwell 14 is located about 7,500 light years from Earth and can be seen with the naked eye in a clear night sky. Taken together, the double cluster weighs a staggering 20,000 solar masses. With an estimated age of 12.8 million years, NGC 869 and NGC 884 are still comparatively young. The image of the Hubble Space Telescope gives us a deep insight into its unique structure. Here we can see the individual stars in their full glory. NGC 5005 Ever wondered what a spiral galaxy looks like up close? A look at the image of NGC 5005 provides stunning answers. Some experts believe there may be a giant black hole at the center of this structure. NASA wants to study the spiral-shaped construct in more detail in the future to get to the bottom of this hypothesis. What we know so far is that there is a distance of about 44 million light years between Earth and NGC 5005. Similar to the case of NGC 185 and NGC 147, this barred spiral galaxy is also part of a superior pair of galaxies. NGC 4559 The nature of NGC 4559 exemplifies the impressive shape of spiral galaxies. In these images from the Hubble telescope, you can see the center and the spiral outflows of NGC 4559. 
You'll find this beauty in the constellation Hare of Berenice. The galaxy, which was discovered in 1784, can also be seen from Earth with the help of medium-range telescopes. NGC 3626 In the center of the galaxy NGC 3626 shines a so-called bulge. This is the densely populated central region of a galaxy, which clearly outshines the other areas of the structure. If a galaxy is very far away from our blue home planet, Astronomers with their technical instruments can often only see the glittering nucleus. Between our cosmic home, the Milky Way, and NGC 3626 lies more than 64 million light years. In contrast to the examples already presented, however, this is not a spiral galaxy. NGC 3626 is a so-called lenticular galaxy and thus represents the transition type between an elliptical and a spiral galaxy. NGC 5248 Have you ever wondered about the mysterious ring structures in spiral galaxies? As a rule, these are the legendary birthplaces of stars. Within these star-forming regions, the sparkling objects we know as stars see the galactic light of day. To be more precise, they are huge, brightly radiating gas clouds that often cover an area of many hundreds of light years. If the rate of star formation is particularly high compared to other areas, experts refer to them as starburst regions. And this is exactly what we see in this unique image of the barred spiral galaxy NGC 5248. Caldwell 52 as we mentioned, some galaxies are so far from our viewpoint that we can only see the brightly lit center. You'll see how this looks in practice if you look at the picture of the galaxy Caldwell 52. The elliptical construct lies a fabulous 51 million light years away from the Earth. The diameter of Caldwell 52 amounts to approximately 115,000 light years. Which of these photos fascinated you the most? Do you get as excited about these real images from space as we do? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.